All right, so up until now, I've been showing you, oh, this panel over here, this is that, 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 and you haven't really done anything yet? I know. Well, listen, I'm actually going to show you how to build your first animation, all right? I just want you to sit back, though, and watch me do it. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm not going to explain everything in grand detail. I'm just going to walk you through the basic mechanics of creating your first classic tweened animation. And I don't want you to do anything. I want you to watch me. So in the next exercise, I'm actually going to have instructions on the screen that you're going to follow and it's going to be real easy. So that's it. Let's get to it. So I've opened up UFO Start and the stage is pretty big right here. So what I'm going to do is in the top right hand corner, I can change the size. But unfortunately, the size that I want, which is 75%, isn't in that menu. So let me just make it 75 and this allows me to see my entire stage and a little bit of the surrounding pasteboard. I'm going to make sure I have my selection tool selected, the black arrow. And let's go to the library and I'm going to click on the UFO and then I'm going to take it and drag it out onto the stage. It's a little big for what I need right now, so I'm going to go to the free transform tool over here and you'll see now that I have these control handles. So holding down shift I can scale and constrain the aspect ratio, which is very nice. If I don't hold down shift, I can do this or do that, what I don't want to do. So let me undo that, Command Z or Control Z. Holding down shift, I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to move it over here. So in the beginning of my animation, the UFO is going to be off stage and quite small. I'm now going to go down to my timeline and I'm going to click in layer number 20 so that it's highlighted or selected. And then I'm going to go to insert timeline keyframe. All right, so now the playhead jumps forward to frame number 20. I have a black circle or a keyframe there. And I'm going to take the UFO and bring it into somewhere in the middle of the stage. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then now I want animate to create the frames in between frame 1 and frame 20 so that I get a smooth animation. I'm going to go back to frame number 1 and I'm going to click on it so that it's highlighted and then go to insert create classic tween. When I do that we now have those frames turning blue. We see that arrow we talked about in the last exercise and now when I drag the playhead forward I've created my first classic tween. Ta-da! So we're going to do one more classic tween, and then I'm going to let you try. Let's go out to frame number 40. I'm going to click in that frame, and then I'm also going to go to Insert, Timeline, Keyframe. And then I'm going to take the ship. Now that I have a keyframe there first, I'm going to take the ship and drag it up over here. I'm then going to go back to frame number 20. And again, I want Animate to create the tween in between 20 and 40. So with that frame highlighted or selected, I'm going to go to Insert, Create Classic Tween. Now when I pull forward, you'll see that the ship leaves the stage. One little last piece of finessing. Let's go back to frame number 20. So I'm going to click right above it or drag the playhead to frame 20. And I'm going to select the UFO again. Again, make sure you're using the free transform tool here. And I'm just going to hold down Shift, scale it up, and then when I roll over the corner here, you'll notice I have that little uh, rotation icon next to the cursor. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist like this. Let's go back to frame one. And I can either hit return or enter, depending on what your keyboard says, or there's a play button down below. So let me just press on that. And now you'll see my first animation, or I should say your first animation. I'm going to hit return again. And that's pretty cool. All we did was create a few keyframes and tell Animate to create these tweens in between. And that's it, folks. That's literally 90% of what you're going to be doing in your Animate CC career, creating keyframes and classic tweens. So what I want you to do is watch this video one more time, take it all in, and then what's going to happen is you're going to go to the next lesson and you're going to do what's called the follow along, where I've taken these exact steps, I re-recorded them just for you, and I'm going to show you like two or three things. Then you're going to pause the video. You're going to see on-screen instructions that tell you what to do. You're going to do it yourself. Then you're going to watch me do the next step. There's going to be on-screen instructions, and then you're going to do it. All right? So this exercise here is an overview where you sit back and soak it in and do that one more time and then move on to the follow-along. All right? See you on the other side.
Nuru Nadini.